Okay, welcome to this video of a 1937 D28 that I own that I'm putting up for sale. Uh, I've got mirrors on the inside of the guitar uh, that can show you the condition of the top and forward shifted bracing is just about an inch back from the sound hole and I'm going to show you a close up of the bridge plate on the sides whenever I uh, get done with the uh, uh, mirrors and we'll take the light out now all right so we're going back up here to the neck block and we're going down to serial number 66273. All right, so here is the top of the guitar from the sound hole to the neck. Okay, so I'm going to take the mirrors out now so that we can get in to the sound hole and let me show you the bridge plate. Here's another picture of the, of the top. Okay, no no repairs anywhere there's a b-string crack i'll show that to you in a minute okay right here is one side of the bridge plate all right okay now on the appraisal that carter done in 2015 they said that the uh, bridge it was a replaced bridge so they filled the holes up in the bridge plate and then re-drilled them and there's evidence of that happening uh, I'll go back over it again but there it is next to the brace okay I'm gonna go back over it again and there's your B string crack All right, let me get over on the other side of it I think you can see you know, see where it's been drilled and filled okay right there it is next to the brace okay it was drilled it was filled up and then drilled back out for the new pins to match the bridge Okay, now I'm going to show you the sides from the waist around the back of the guitar. No repairs. There's a plug right there where somebody, I guess, has put electronics in it at some point. Okay, let me make sure I get to show you all of it. All right, so no repairs there. Now I'm going to go from the sound hole around the sides to the front of the guitar. Okay, so I'm making my way around to the front and the neck block. Okay. There's a piece of crud there. Uh, so no repairs on the inside except a V-string repair and the bridge plate. Okay. All right, now I want to show you the 
the net size which is right next to the nut 1.75 at the seventh fret 2.05 and at the 12th fret 2.05 all right now I want to show you the thickness of the neck first fret thickness is 0 0.87 0 0.89 okay at the seventh fret point zero three and at the twelfth fret point three two all right this is the size of your saddle they're either period correct pins or original pins and the bridge at this point is 1.14 and at this point over here it is 1.14 and then in the middle it is 1.50 all right so I'm going to turn the guitar over now and show you the neck and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to show you um, I got some neat uh, tools from Skewmac and let me show you how this works this is cool all right mash it down like this that gives you your neck contour. All right, so that is fret number one. And then fret number seven. Okay, so here we are on the neck at fret number seven. Hard to get this thing focused. Fret number seven. All right, and then we have one for the 12th fret. Isn't that cool? All right, so what shape is the neck? So we go and we put it up here and we see that it matches perfectly to the oval C shape. That's at the first fret. All right, then at the seventh fret, we see it match the oval C shape, but getting wider. And then at the 12th fret, we can see how that it's just getting wider. All right, so that's a cool thing to see on the neck. 
The neck doesn't have any divots in it. Very, very clean. The tuners, I have had people say that these was not original tuners. Uh, so, and I've had people say they put different kinds on them. So I'm not going to say whether they're original or not. But what I am going to say is, is I have a 35 that's geared so much different than these tuners. These tuners work so much better. And they're Grovers, but they may not be original. But everybody needs to just chime in. This is a video that everybody can uh, put their opinion on. Uh, the frets are good. The fret boards good and clean. Uh, the uh, appraisal that was done in 2015 by Carter's said that the guitar was totally original except for the bridge and then the bridge plate having to be filled and redone and the top had been refinished. And it's very, very clean. This is your B-string crack. It's very, very clean, very, very vibrational. Uh, we've had uh, Richard Bennett play it. We've had Alan Shad, Sean Brock, um, Jamie Pittman, Jack Lawrence. Uh, there's videos of several people playing the, the guitar. And it weighs four pounds. And uh, we know the shape of the neck. Let me see if there's anything that I've left out. A uh, string spacing, 2.29. We know that's what the string spacing is. We measured it a while ago. All right. I think that's it. And if anybody wants any more pictures uh, done any different way or anything, just please let us know. Uh, the guitar is going to be sold, um, and uh, it'll have this descriptive spec listing, and then it'll have very, very close-up, uh, in-depth pictures of the guitar. Very straight-grained Brazilian. The top is outstanding. And thank you very much for looking at this one, and let me know what you think about it. All right, thank you.